right, I am back with my weekly What Sold video. Sorry, things have been kind of a little wacky with my normal YouTube schedule recently, and fair warning, it could be like that through the end of October while I am in my busy volleyball season, but we will see. I will try to get things prepared ahead of time, but no promises. In October, we have a tournament every weekend, so I will be very busy, and a lot of times we play Friday, Saturday, so we'll see what I can do. We are gonna get into this week's sales. If you are new here, my name is Heather and I am a full-time reseller. I resell things mostly on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari with a little bit of Facebook Marketplace and Depop. I use the, not, I was gonna say app. It's a Chrome extension, um, Magic Crosslister, I think it's called. Either that or Crosslist, Crosslist Magic. It's free and that's what I use for all of my cross-listing. So I do my eBay listings first on my desktop and then I cross-list everything from there. Um, it doesn't take too long and it's pretty nice. So um, I'm gonna let you know what I sold over these past few weeks. If you are not subscribed and you like reseller content, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And let me know how your sales have been this past week. Mine were just okay and sourcing has been like not very good. Uh, yesterday was finally decent, but like the few other days before that, I was finding like four items at a store, six items. Like it was like, yikes bad and even if I was like looking for just like anything like I wasn't even finding stuff that I would just normally sell because right now I'm trying to find things that will either flip for $30 or more or that'll flip really fast in like a month or less and I wasn't even finding like either of those things it was just like so bad so I don't know what's going on hopefully it gets better this week I will be putting out a haul video on Sunday of all of the stuff I found yesterday so make sure you come back and watch that okay let's get into the sales from this week so these are going to be sales from Friday, September 22nd to September 29th. I sold these pair of Brooks women's size 10 black and white running comfort shoes for $32 on Facebook Marketplace, if I did not say that. And that's it, the, the one sale. Actually, I did have one in-person sale. Um, actually, two. Wow. I sold a pair of Allen Edmonds dress shoes for $40. They were a little bit beat up. Like, not really bad, but they had some scuffs and stuff like that. So anyway... That was a $40 sale, and then I had, it happened to be my daughter's coworker saw some kid Doc Martin boots that I had listed on Facebook Marketplace for $20, so Grace is taking those to work today, so I did have a couple of, like, local sales. And then on Depop, I just had one sale of this Desigual dress. This was getting a ton of attention. It ended up having over 100 likes on Depop. It was just a size small, like, sleeveless tank dress. And that sold for $36. And I just made a sale on Mercari. Um, so we'll go to Mercari next. Why not? I think it was my last pair of Judy Blue plus size jeans. Yes. All of those have been selling so fast. I'm like, ugh, I wish I could find more. So Judy Blue size 20 boyfriend distressed jeans sold for $37.80. I don't know how this happened, but all of a sudden on my Mercari, some of my items are like ending in like a cent amount instead of just like a whole dollar and I didn't set it up like that so I don't know what's going on anyway 37.80 that's great I also sold a pair of Athleta size 2x green crop leggings these did have a stain on them that I couldn't get out and they sold for $23 I sold this soft surrounding shirt very quickly if you don't remember this was in my haul on Tuesday I'll link that up here if you want to watch it it did have it marked as a 2x but it fit more like a large so I went ahead and put that in my title and my description and it sold very quickly for $32. Next, I sold a pair of Madewell boots. These are in a size seven and a half black leather ankle boots sold for 35. These Blondo boots also sold very quickly. These were a suede, just like slip on ankle style boot and those sold for 30. And then I sold these Gap pants in a size extra, extra large burgundy. These were new with tags. I've had these for a really long time. So Glad to get rid of them, and they sold for $15. I sold these Abercrombie and Fitch shorts in a size 34. Uh, they did have like a rust spot on the back that I could not get out, and so I sold them for $23. I've been selling flawed items super quickly because I feel like it's already a good item, and then I just mark it cheap, and they still sell quick. So you'll see in some of my eBay sales with that too. And then one other thing was another pair of Judy Blue jeans, again, a size 20 women's blue boyfriend fit and those sold for $36. So pretty decent on Mercari. We will go on to Poshmark and then we'll do eBay last. 
Okay, Poshmark, I sold this vintage wool hat. This was like back when I was going to the bins a lot with my sister and I thought, oh, this is fun. Let me just pick up so many random little things. But it was like, nothing was that great for me for the stuff that I sell. And it sold for $5, so whatever, I guess. Glad to get rid of that. Okay, next was a Tory Burch women's size six, pink brown floral shorts and they sold for $19. I sold this Vineyard Vines men's sweater in a size large for $12. Next was an Everlane sweater. This was in a size small. It was a blue merino wool alpaca blend puff sleeve striped sweater and that sold for $25. Next was a Jay McLaughlin sweater. I only had this for maybe a month. So pretty quick sale on this. It was a cashmere blend and it was a long line cardigan in a size medium that sold for $30. Next were a pair of Lululemon leggings. So a lot of like Lululemon Athleta the leggings are like hard to move unless they're a certain style. Like these are a wonder under pair and they only sold for $10. I had them for a really long time and they were like barely getting any interest. I think just like extremely oversaturated. So I don't know. I'd have to like just be a little bit more careful when I'm in the stores of what I'm picking up, I guess. Next was the brand Anu. I think that's how you say it. A-N-U. It was a vest kind of like, kind of just like a boho look. It was a wool uh, vest and it sold for $34. I did see some comps of these selling around 50, but I have had it for a few months now. So I did take an offer of 34. Next was a men's fig shirt. So not a typical scrub shirt. It was actually like a long sleeve burgundy, like seamless shirt and it sold for $25. I sold these soft surrounding size, medium blue tinsel pants for $9. So I am still going every Friday in my Poshmark closet dropping prices by 10% of items that I've had for a certain amount of time. I don't can't, I can't remember what I have it set up for because I don't want to hold on to items forever. So I just keep marking them down until they sell. So obviously I've had those for quite a while. Next for a pair of figs pants. These were in a size large. They were the black Cade style. So that's the straight leg style. And I sold for $20. Next for a pair of beta brand pants, another pathetic $9 sale. These were in a size medium, the classic boot cut. I am passing on a beta brand at the stores pretty much every time now because they have not been selling good for me. I don't know about you guys, but I am like kind of just over it. Um, next was a Spanx sweatshirt, which I didn't really know they made, which was interesting because I feel like Spanx is shapewear. And this was like an oversized sweatshirt. Um, anyway, size extra large, it sold for $23. I sold these Nike sweatpants in a size small for $10. I got these for my niece to try on. They didn't fit her. And I found out they had a little rip in the seam by the hip pocket. And I still sold them for $10. I guess someone could probably just sew those up pretty easily. Next was a coach wristlet in a brown and white color. I've sold this for eight. <laughs> Lots of like really sad sales. So anyway, <laughs> it's just things I've had for a while and I, I don't know, they just weren't good, I guess. I don't know, I don't wanna hold on to things for like a year to get like 15 more dollars. I just, I just don't. So let's keep moving. Uh, J. Crew Liberty Art Fabrics shirt. Here we go, this one's better. This was a Paisley silk blend top and it sold for $42. So if you ever see J. Crew and it says Liberty, like made with Liberty fabrics or something, pick it up because it almost always does good. Next was a Lululemon coat in a size four. I got this in Aspen when I was there for a volleyball tournament. It did have a couple of spots and it sold for $50. I sold these Abercrombie and Fit size 31 brown vegan leather 90s straight ultra high rise pants for $21. Next was a cool dress This sold very quickly. It wasn't a size large, a blue sweater long sleeve dress, $24. I sold this Margaret O'Leary sweater and I just got an offer on eBay for a jacket. I have it listed for 105. It's the brand Muba, M-U-U-B-A-A, -A, lamb leather. And they offered me 50. I've had it for a while though. And I know that this is like marked down. I originally had it at 150 and I have it marked down right now to 105. I think I'm gonna try to get at least 75. So let's do that and see what they say. Okay, back to the Poshmark. Margaret O'Leary sweater. This was a vintage one. I've heard this brand can do good. I've never sold it before. This was the first time. I had it for a long time and it only sold for $13. So I don't really know if I would pick that up again. Next was a Torrid shirt in a black purple plaid style. Uh, size 2X sold for $17. I sold these cabbie pants in a size extra large. These were a navy blue tuxedo leggings and they sold for $17. 
Next was a J. Crew shirt. This was a size small green white gingham shirt. I think it was new with tags as well. And that sold for $16. I sold these Lululemon um, Align joggers, which can do pretty well. These ones were kind of interesting though. They were navy blue with like this velvet stripe down the side. So not really like a typical like look, I feel like that a lot of people would want to have. And they sold for 28. I sold these John Barbados men's size 32 slim straight jeans for $28. Next were a pair of on clouds. These I got at Plato's closet for $18. They were in a size women's eight and a half and they sold for 59. Next was a North Face Sherpa sweatshirt in a size extra, extra large men's. I offered this to my brother, but I think he just, I don't know. He didn't want it for some reason. So I sold it for 33. Here's another pair of beta brand. These were not extra large petite. These were like a denim pull on skinny legging type of look. And they sold for $15. And then I sold these Spanx size 12 black zip ankle high rise pants for 38. So that is definitely a better style, the pants rather than the leggings. Next was an Acris, Acris shirt. This was a purple burgundy polka dot shirt, lightweight. This brand honestly doesn't do that great for me very much. And it sold for $16. Next was a pair of AG Adriano Goldschmidt jeans that actually sold really quickly, even though they were skinny. They were in a size 32, so I think the size helped and they sold for $25. This Free People shirt also sold within a day. It wasn't a size extra large. It had ruching on the sleeves. I feel like I hardly ever find Free People in extra large, so... Maybe that's why it sold so quick and it sold for $20. I sold these Levi's pants. These were called the Math Club Slacks. They were a vegan leather in a size 30 and they sold for 27. And that is it for my Poshmark sales. So let's go back to eBay and we're gonna hope that buyer accepts my counter offer of $75. That would be amazing. Okay, sadly I had two offers sent to me yesterday. I accepted them and then they requested to cancel like almost immediately. One person was like, it was an accident and another person said, sorry, I didn't look at the size. I'm like, yeah, right, you sent me an offer. I accepted it, then you paid for it and then you wanted to cancel, like. Sure, Jan. No. Okay, um, Catherine's shirt, size 3X. This sold within a week. It was a green lace plus size top and it sold for $15. So super quick sale, even though it wasn't for very much, I probably could have got a little bit more for that. But my sales were really, really crappy yesterday. So I went ahead and just took that <laughs> thinking I would get more sales throughout the day and it didn't really work. I mean, I had those couple, but then they canceled. So whatever, I think I paid like $4 for that. Um, next was a J. Crew blazer. This is another one of the flawed items that I sold very quickly. It wasn't a size two. And when I got home under the lights, I noticed it was like completely faded all the way around the collar of the blazer. So I listed it for $15 and it sold like in a few hours. So that's great because I still made money off of it and I got rid of it quickly. Um, next for a pair of new with tags, Lululemon size eight, uh, wide leg split pants. These sold for hundred dollars with a 20% off coupon. So 80, um, they were new with tags. I paid $30 for these at a local thrift world. These next cabbie leggings sold very fast. They always sell really fast for me. This style is the skirted leggings. Um, and they were in a size medium gray and they sold for $20 within like a couple of hours. Uh, next extra pair of flax pants. These were a size large red linen wide leg pants sold for 30. I sold this Jay McLaughlin shirt in a size large. It had a diamond pattern and it was like their classic Catalina cloth that they use. So it's a really like stretchy material and that sold for $25. Next extra pair of Beyond Yoga leggings. The last two times I picked up Beyond Yoga leggings, they have sold very quickly. These ones were like in a dusty rose color and they sold for $24. Next was another Catherine's item. This was in a size 4X, a plus size, just like a casual, maybe like business casual shirt, sold for $25. I sold this Torrid sweater in a size 5X. This was a super soft plush cardigan, was like the actual name. And that sold for $26. Um, a pair of Spanx, a size small, gray velvet shapewear pants, sold for $28. This J. Jill top sold super quickly. It wasn't a size 2X yellow polka dot and that sold for $25. Actually, that's like my full asking price. Okay, they didn't, yeah, and they used a coupon. Okay, so usually if it's like the full asking price, that means they used a coupon. Okay, Tiva shoes in a size eight. 
These were like a suede Sherpa line shoe and I've had them for a really long time and they sold for $10. So glad to see them move. Next were a pair of packed pants. These were in a size extra, extra large. Organic cotton pull on and they sold for $22. I sold this coach jewelry box. I got this from one of my last thread up coach rescue boxes that I got. I actually already sold it for 20 and then it got returned and now I've had it for a while again and this time it sold for $15. Next was a Babette tank top. I got this from a consignment store for $5. It wasn't a size extra large, sleeveless, really lightweight, and that sold for $15. This Patagonia jacket sold very quickly. It was the Nano Puff jacket. I got this on a new rack with a Lululemon puffer, which was super exciting, but I have tried so many things and it has so many little stains all over it, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that much for the Lululemon one, which sucks, but I only paid $8 for it. That's what I paid for this one too. This one sold for 70, so that was amazing. Another pair of Nike sweatpants that I tried to give my niece that she didn't want or she didn't like how they fit. These ones sold for 12. Next were a pair of Levi's jeans with some stains on them that I couldn't get out. So I priced them really low and they ended up selling for $9. They were the rib cage straight. They were a really light wash, but like, I need to stop. Cause sometimes I'm like, oh, this is a great style. This is a great price. I'm gonna get out these stains and then I just am not good at it, or I just can't. So I probably need to like pay attention to that better. Okay, Eileen Fisher shirt. This was in a size 1X. It was an Irish linen. It sold very, very quickly for $34. Next were a pair of diesel jeans. These were a brown tie-dye flare style, very Y2K, and they sold for $40. I sold these Eileen Fisher size medium gray striped linen pants for $30. Next was a J. Crew sweater. This was a large navy blue merino wool sweater and that sold for $31 from a repeat buyer. I like that eBay tells you that. I sold these two J. Jill shirts very quickly. So J. Jill plus size has been doing pretty good for me lately. I don't know if you guys have any experience selling it. They were both in a 4X and they sold it together for $40. So on eBay, the people can like purchase two items, but then you can send them an invoice with combined shipping. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, here's another flawed item. <laughs> I'm like the queen of selling flawed items this week. Eileen Fisher large black tensile turtleneck sweater. It had these spots on it that looked like, like discoloration. And I was like, oh, I'll just put it in the wash and it'll be fine. And they never came out. And I still sold it for $15 in like a day. So whatever. Next repair of Hoka 1-1 shoes. Men's size 13 Clifton 8 style. These did have some wear on them. They still sold within a week for $35. I sold this Garnet Hill shirt in a size small. This was an organic cotton top and that sold for 15. Another J. Jill plus size item. So I really need to be on the lookout for these because apparently they're doing good. This one was in a size 3X. It was a sweater, um, like a turtleneck or cowl neck style. And that sold for $30 with a 20% off coupon. This Athleta shirt sold very quickly. It was in a size 1X. It was a momentum fitted long sleeve top for $20. And that is it on eBay. And that's it for my sales this week, guys. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that sales go really good for everybody this weekend, including myself. I'm going to get to listing after I get this done, film my other haul video. So I've got a busy day ahead of me with reselling stuff. I will see you guys again on Sunday for a haul video. I hope you have a great weekend.